Hey folks, it's Dave Wood, and I've been doing these blind cheese sale videos, and it just hit me the other day, but I haven't really explained what it is that we're doing, and that probably, uh, if you're watching this, you have no idea what we're doing, it looks like patty cakes or something like that, right? So what cheese sale is, and I'm gonna, this is gonna be a short explanation, keep in mind, but I'm not a Kung Fu master, so I'm probably gonna make a mistake, okay? It's uh, an exercise that comes from Wing Chun, which is a Chinese martial art, uh, that means uh, sticking hands, okay? Uh, and what sticking hands is, is it's the practice of tactile reflexes. It's really difficult actually to see what's going on in the videos, and the reason is because there's a lot going on at the same time, all right? And this is the best way I can, I can, I can convey to you, uh, kind of if you could hold this in your brain, what we're actually doing. Because if you like go get a table and uh, get two cups of water, fill one of them like three-fourths full and one of them like a fourth full, okay? And then I want you to get two coffee pots, each with different amounts of water in them. Maybe one of them's like three-fourths full and it's on the fourth full glass, and the other one maybe only has a third of the water in it. And then what you want to do is, with both glasses at the same time, try to make them get full of water at the exact same time. So you're going to be using two different energies in your hands, and you're also filling two different glasses with different levels of water. It takes a lot of concentration to be able to do that. She out. What you're doing is you're you're practicing a series of uh, of kung fu principles uh, uh, in attacking the other opponent. So this is the difference between how Wing Chun behaves in response to where like a traditional martial art behaves in response. Like you got something like karate. What karate does, or you know, boxing or whatever, is it's a visual response art, right? So if I see an opening, I'm going to go in and I'm going to strike, right? I took karate my whole life, and that's a second through black belt in Shokan. So it was actually decent when I was like a teenager, but I haven't done it in like 20 years, right? So that's essentially how normal martial arts behave and respond to striking arts, okay? What Wing Chun does is they get into essentially a clinch zone, right? Which you're familiar with if you're doing grappling. Uh, and a clinch zone is like essentially where you're in grabbing distance of the arms. That's where Wing Chun fights, is striking art. And what we're doing when we're doing Chi Sao is we're practicing a series of passive responses that are entirely based on touch and a series of active responses, which are like their attacking counterparts, right? So a touch response goes like this. If I have a hit coming and my arm's going to punch and a hit stops it, all right, my arm is going to go into a relaxed, forward, flexible energy. And if a hit is going like right through directly at my face, that would cause a bong sao to redirect the energy just off my center line over there, right, creating an opening in my opponent where I could strike above him like this, all right? So in chi sao, there's essentially a handful of passive responses that you have that we're using, you can see if you actually look in the video. There's bong sao, which is redirecting the energy from the center, off in this direction here, right? There's tan sao, which is the opposite. If a hit is coming, my hand is wedged, and a hit's coming here, a tan sao redirects energy off the center line there, right? There's chum sao, which is if my hand's above his hand and his energy is coming maybe directly at me or just, just off to the side here, a chum sao is going to have a forward flexible energy there and it's going to redirect the line just a little bit this way again, creating an opening here, all right? So there's fuk sao, right, which is a response that just kind of is a floating response. If his energy is coming right at me, it's going to make a fuk sao and then maybe his energy is going to go this way and I'm going to make a chum sao to redirect it, all right? In which case I could strike, I could strike here, right? Or his energy could also go this way, creating what's called a cow sow, right? Now, any one of those passive responses, it's important, it's important that you know what you're looking at. If I force it to be made, rather than letting his energy make it, he'll hit me almost every time if he's any good, right? So if a hand's coming at me and I try to block it with a bong sow, a bong sow is not blocked. A bong sow is a hit's coming and my hand's moving his force out of the way, and I'm using the force of, my of, the, of the opponent attacking to create that move, all right? So those are like the passive responses in Chi Sao, and I'm not covering all of them because I don't have any time. So you got Chum Sao moving the energy that way, you got Tan Sao moving the energy that way, you got Bong Sao moving the energy that way, you got Cow Sao moving the energy that way, and there's a whole bunch more. There's Pax House to the side, there's moves like this to redirect energy, there's doing the same thing with their elbow. Now why is that important? Here's why it's important. And I'm going to move the camera over here, and I'm going to continue on with the video, and then we're going to do some blind Chi Sao again. All right, so we got... All right, we can't see the camera, but it's still recording, Mark. So, so here, let me give you an example, all right? And we're gonna keep our eyes open. All right, so I'm gonna edit these two videos together. The camera fell, because I got it on this little tiny ledge here. All right, so again, like, like let's do one arm. If, if I'm here, right, my hand might fall in a position like a, a fuk cell, which is really just resting and has forward flexible energy. The thing to understand about fuk cell is this isn't a move. I'm not attacking him literally. <laughs> Like, like a rabbit, you know, or something like that. If, if I'm punching and his hand's in the way, my hand might fall down to a fuk sao, it's a passive response, right? So now, 
his hand is actually aimed at my face. If I move my hand out of the way, his strike will just come through and will hit me, right? So that's the energy of his hand. His hand isn't just sitting there in a tonsil. So if I move out of the way, bam, he's going to hit and strike me. Now, his energy is going to do all sorts of different things from this position. If it moves out to the side, right, it's going to form into what's called a cow sap, right? Which creates an opening. Now he's off my center line. You can't really see this in the video. And then I can go there, and then you see how that energy came towards the center and he redirected it to the bong sap. So if he comes at me again, here, right, that redirects towards the bong sap. Now, why is this important? It's important because you can respond about 200 milliseconds faster through tactile reflexes than you can through visual reflexes. When you're in a short range, you can't actually, you cannot uh, respond to most of the attacks visually. That's why if you see boxers, they get close and they just start pounding the shit out of each other. The reason is, is because they can't really see and respond fast enough to what's going on. So if he goes that again and he creates this response here, okay, now it's also created an opening where I could step through and I could elbow. Now that elbow is going directly at his head, but because he's sticking to it, he can respond just by redirecting out of the way. Do it again. Right? You can't respond to stuff like that with tactile reflexes. I think sometimes people think when we're doing this, we're not actually trying to hit each other, but I'm actually elbowing right at his nose. <laughs> now, thankfully, Marco knows how to do this. Right? So that's what we're practicing in sticking hands, except for we're doing it with two hands at once. And so we've got two hands that are both aimed at the other opponent. Right, so this hand here is not just sitting this lower hand. This hand, the hand is actually aiming at a hit. Here, move your hand. See, if he moves out of the way, that's actually going to strike him. Okay? So that was actually a bad example, so I was looking at the video. See, that hand is going to strike him. This hand is aiming to strike too. Right? So if he moves out of the way, it's going to come in and it's going to attack. So I'm never just passively sitting there kind of playing patty kicks when I'm doing this. I'm always looking for, I'm always looking for uh, an opening, right? So what happens is if he drops like this tonsil down and he loses that energy, I can just strike, right? And you'll see that happen sometimes where I'll lose the energy here in my fuchsia. If I just lose my energy in the fuchsia, he can just come through and strike it, right? I have to stick to that, so if he comes through and he strikes, it just moves it slightly out of the way, right? So that's what Chi Sao is. It's an active practice of tactile reflexes. Now, I'm going to do one more quick explanation, because people say, well, people don't fight like that, which is true. But the way Wing Chun fights, actually, is they, we step in and collapse the structure, and then we stick, right, in about this range. So if he put up like a normal fighting stance here, put something up, right? If he's like a fighter or something like that, he would do that or something, right? And I'm going to come through, and I'm going to attack, right? Now, I'm sticking to both of his hands at the same time, and it is Chisa, right? So that's actually kind of how Wing Chun fights. If he backs up, I just follow him and I stick to that distance. So anyways, Fly Chi Sao now, now that you kind of know what's going on, is practicing tactile responses. And it's about the cool thing, coolest thing ever, actually. There's just a lot more going on than people think in the market. <laughs> That was my explanation. Decent? You're like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a beginner, so. <laughs> so doing this with our eyes closed, though, is really complicated, actually. I think what people don't realize is that we're trying to hit each other. <laughs> yeah. And we're just not hitting each other because and the other person's sticking. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Hey.